I have an open R, so let's start. If you do not know how to install the package focus, let me show you the step. Go to Packages, set, then click Set Cran Mirror, and choose based on your country. Then click OK. Go to Packages once again, but this time, choose Install Packages. Scroll down until you find the package focus. Then click OK. It will take a few minutes to install the package. Next, you guys may download this script from the module so that we can do this demonstration together. I start with make the focus library available. So, I let the library, write library, in bracket, focus, in your art editor. Highlight all the script and press Ctrl and R at the same time. Alright then, let's move to call the data and attach it into the R. Create a name for representing your data and copy the path from your directory. For this tutorial, I name my data as Mixed Fish. Just to remind you that the file name in your script has to identical with the name in folder. Then highlight the script and run. You can check if the data already transferred in this R by running your data. Write your data's name and run. Here you go. Next, if you have many variables in your database and you forgot which variables that you want to forecast, this script will help you. The names variable, meet in bracket, meet speech, and frame. The output will show you the name of your variable. For this tutorial, I would like to forecast for the meat fish. The first thing to do is, we need to declare the data in time series. Assign one name for declaring it. TS denotes time series. Mix fish is declaration name for this data. For represent the column for which interest variable. Next, 2000 is starting date for this data and because of this data in monthly, 12 denotes monthly data. Highlight this script and run. All these criteria are based on your data. If you want to show this new data set, just write the data's name and run. Here you go. Next, in developing the Sarima model, we need to plot the graph to see the pattern of the data before we proceed to the next stage. Right plot, Describe, Highlight, and Run. So, this is the plot. This plot shows that there is a seasonal pattern on this data. To double confirm, if the data are fit for Sarima, This script will show you the pattern for Sarima plot. This plot shows that there is a pattern on this data set. So this means that this data can run for Sarima modeling. Next, we run for the composition of additive time series. Run this script. 
and look at the seasonal plot. Look at the seasonal plot. This one. This plot is to look how many spikes for each season. For this data, there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12. There are 12 spikes for every season. Since we know how many spikes for each season, the next step is we need to eliminate the seasonal effect so that the data are stationary. DIFF denotes differencing. We use capital D for Sarima. 12 denotes the number of spikes for each season. Then, run the script. To show that the data already in stationary, we plot the differencing graph. Highlight and run. By looking at this plot, it seems like the data already stationary, but it is not enough by only referring to this plot. We still need to, need to look at the, their mean. So, run this script. So, the means shows that the value is 9.93333, which is quite big and it means that we need to do for natural differencing. So, run for natural differencing. And plot the graph. It is up to you either you want to plot the differencing graph or not because the mean value of the differencing data will prove the data already stationary. So highlight and run. So after we run for natural differencing, it shows that the mean value is negative 0.396648, which is close to zero. Thus, this data, data already stationary. Then, the next step is plot the PSCF, control and write. You can screenshot this plot and paste at your document for further reference. Write for SCF. Like and run. This is the plot for SCF. Now look at the PSCF graph. For this PSCF, we can say that only two spikes, that is it the significant spike at seasonal lag, and there are 11 spikes that is it the significant lag. This is for the first model. For the second model, we can say that there are 15 spikes that is it the significant spike. Don't forget to jot down this value in your notebook. Next, run for SCF. Referring to SCF plot, there is only one spike that exit the significant spike at seasonal lag. Then, for the first model, we can say that there are 15 spikes that exit the significant spike, and there are 18 spikes that exit the significant spike for the second model. The next step is we run for the first model. Assign a name for representing the first model. And for this model, I put model 1. Just want to remind you that we use the first status name in this script. This is same with Arima modeling. You may refer at previous video for Arima that's adding seasonal value. Then, calculate 
highlight the script and run. You can run the model. Then calculate the accuracy value, which is very important to make comparison with second model. Then do the same step for second model. And also run the accuracy. Highlight and run. To identify which model is more suitable for forecasting, we compare model 1 and model 2 by looking at RMSE and MAPE values. RMSE and MAPE for model 1 is lesser than RMSE and MAPE for model 2. Thus, Model 1 is suitable for forecasting. Then, we can proceed to forecast the data. It is depending on how many months or years that you want to forecast. For this data, I want to forecast 6 months. Highlight this script and run. I use forecast 1 to represent the value of the first forecast. Forecast 1 will show you the data. You can also plot the graph. So you can see that the difference between the present data and the forecast value. Last but not least, you also can save the forecast data in CSV format. Name the that file, name the file, highlight the script, and run. Open the document. You can see that this is the file for your forecasted values. That's all. Thank you for watching.